Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm doing a full acrylic nail design with a 3D rose at the end of the video. I'm actually allergic to acrylic so I have got gloves on so I apologise for that. This is all the products I'm using today. The colours are Nao Nails and I'm using some NSI and also some CND powders as well. So let's jump in. First off I'm going to get the shine off the nails, I'm going to treat this as a natural nail so I'm just taking the shine off with a little buffer because you don't want to use a high grip foil on your natural nail This nail I actually thought it was coming off because with this kitty hand I am having trouble with the tips so when I'm gluing them on they are pinging off sometimes so if anybody's got any tips out there to help me please let me know in the comments below because it's doing my head in. <laughs> so next off I'm going to use my Ink London Primer. Now with the primer you don't want to use too much you just want to use very very little. I did think until I watched now cool I think her name is on YouTube I'll leave her link in the description box that you use two coats of primer so I thought more would be more stronger for the nail but that's not the case less is definitely more and it also does stop lifting guys so I will keep you updated on my lifting but I've had none since I've been doing this so I haven't used my acrylic brush for a bit so I'm just cleaning it all off making sure there's no debris left in there from the last acrylic set of nails I've done so on the first nail I'm actually going to do a French so I'm going to do half and half so I do go in with the natural beige I think it is Sparkle from Nao Nails I will leave all the links to the products I don't know if they still do some of these product looks guys because I have had them a while so it is very pretty and it does really look nice on the nail so I'm using that as a nail bed so I am doing it half well quarter I'd say so the first bead didn't get to plan as you can see it was too dry, I hadn't picked up it for ages, the second one, this is how it should go on then you just want to gently walk it to the cuticle without touching the cuticle so just like walk the dog so I will be doing a video explaining more about acrylic as well so I'm sorry for the delay for getting this video up, I've just been so busy and not having the time but it is done now so then I'll just pack that down and I'll let that set and I'll move on to the next nail. I also do colour blocking I think it is called on these nails. I loved how they turned out, they're so summery and so pretty. So next I'll go in with the pink. I think it is called sizzling pink. so look at the colour on that guys it is so pretty I'm just giving it a little mix because they have been sitting a while in my collection so I just thought I'd mix them up a bit so here we go we're going to put that onto the nail now guys now that is a perfect bead also if when you're doing acrylic nails most people panic if they miss a bit they try and stretch the acrylic over now as you can see in this on this nail I do miss a bit by the cuticle there now I'm not trying to stretch the acrylic over because it's no big deal you can just go back in with another tiny bead I mean if you miss anything at all on the nail don't be afraid even if you're working on a client to go back in with a bead sorry about that guys that was my phone just go back in if you're not happy with a part just put an extra little bead in so it does help and I mean one ball is all good if you can do that but in the real world we do use more than one ball on most of our nail designs so I mean as you can see look I've fixed that now and I'm just patting it all down with the ball of my brush just feathering it out a bit just so I can put the other one to blend in so it does all blend in and doesn't look odd guys you know I love gel but I do love acrylic I love playing with acrylic it's just it sets quick and easy I will be doing another video on pinching tools soon and explaining the difference between them because you can use the same ones on gel and acrylic but there is special pinching tools out there for gel 
and I will show you the difference in upcoming videos so keep your eyes out for that so as you can see when I'm trying to blend it in I take the brush back towards the uh, sorry guys, towards the hand as it's blending that little line in so you can't see the line as much so it doesn't look like you've put like three balls I've put on a thing called four on there so you, it doesn't look like that so but that's that one done but also I do go in and I encapsulate every one of these nails with clear acrylic because that helps you bring real them get me words out now that helps you build your arch so it does help you a lot so with the colour you're not building your arch you do that with your clear afterwards this nail I'm doing the colour blocking as you can see it is very easy to do so you just pat it out half or quarter or however way you want to do it. If you want to do half and half, you do it that way. I will also be doing a video on marbling with acrylic as well. That will be coming up soon. I have got some fun, fun videos using acrylic as I love the products. So, but I will be doing my gel still as well. So don't worry guys, all you gel lovers out there, my gel will continue. So next I'll go in with sizzling lemon I think it is. And that's Neo again. Sorry if I'm out of view on some of this guys, I have had a new holder for my iPad so I'm trying to get used to it because it's quite different from what I'm used to but if you all bear with me I will get there. So I'm just putting that colour now just to meet that colour without going over the other colour. Just patting it down with the ball of my brush again. As you can see, I've got some ex excess, just take that off and pat it down again. Make sure it's all patted down nicely and you're happy with it. And then next I'll go in with the pink colour again. As you can see, I'm just cleaning the line up to make sure it's all good for the pink acrylic powder. With acrylic you don't want to push, you want to sort of walk it down, as you can see what I'm doing there. I will be doing a video to explain guys for you all. So I'm just sorry for the delay in getting this video out, just life's overtook at the moment, but I will be uploading again weekly. So I'm just trying to get videos done at the moment and then I use Google Drive and it's just a nightmare. So I'll go in and do the pinky with the lemon sizzler I'm pushing just walking it sorry to the cuticle without touching the cuticle or the skin so as you can see I'm just feathering that out again just making sure that the next blob of acrylic ball should I say is going to feather in nicely I was very happy with how these nails turned out guys because I mean, I played with acrylic for a good few months now, so I was shocked that I still remember how to do it. But acrylic is a love of mine, and I'm going to start doing more video for you guys, more videos for you guys on my acrylics, and I will still do my gels though, because I know that most of my subscribers do love gels, but my love for gel hasn't gone away, because I can only use gel on myself anyhow. So I'm just pinching them lightly there with my fingers because I can find my pinches. So now I'm just going in and I'm filing the smile line. <clears throat> just to get that line a bit more crisper. So it's nice and crisp for when I put the yellow colour on top right now. I'm going to do that. I'd like to know what you guys think of my acrylic videos. If you do want to see more, then please let me know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you're not already, please subscribe. I have more and more new stuff coming to try for you guys. So also, I am going to be doing a Halloween video and also I've got a Christmas Day video, which is going to be a very special, special video. And that's all I'm saying about that video. So please do hit that subscribe button because I love you all to join my YouTube family. I do appreciate each and every one of you. So as you can see that looks nice. I'm just I think I went over the 
No. The nail bed bit a bit with the yellow, so I did try and get that off, but it won't come off. So I've, I could have got it off, but I was encapsulating it anyhow, so I wasn't too fussed. Also, guys, don't forget to go and check out Nails of Interest's video. I will leave her in the information above. So please check her out. She's doing a brilliant giveaway. It is a Model 1 dip powder kit for US only. But there is also glitter and other things for UK people and other countries, international, should I say. So please go and check her out. She is a brilliant YouTuber and a great friend. And I just want to show her some love. So Nails of Interest. Here's your shout out girl. Next I'm going in and I'm just encapsulating all the nails. Also I'm just walking it towards the cuticle and I'm trying to build the arch as you will see. So when you're building the arch with acrylic you don't want to feather out too much like I did with the colour. You want to try and have a little like ledge I'd say a hump <laughs> and just try and just feather it out gently but not too much that you're going to lose it so then when you go in with your e-foil you can just make sure your arch is still there to secure the nail because the arch is the most important part of the nail you can do your nails as thick as you want well not too thick obviously guys but if you do your nails thick but the arch isn't there and it's just thick on the edges and the free edge and the tips it's not going to work, it's going to snap like if you touch the skin with your product to any product, acrylic or gel it's going to lift because as your nail grows out it's lifting that product up so just some tips for you there guys so I hope that helps so as I said I am a trained nail tech in gel and acrylic but I also know or don't know it all about these every product so I'm still learning every day and I enjoy learning I learn tips off YouTube as well like you guys do I literally do enjoy learning and there's always always something new in the nail industry so I just I love nails so much they are my passion my life my heart and soul are in my nails <laughs> so back to the nails anyhow I'm just encapsulating them all as you can see also when you get if you look into my acrylic pot at the moment i've got little bits in it if you get like that just give it a shake because then it goes back to a lot of snow again i'm touching snow that's all i can describe it as so i'm just going to see if you see in a minute i do actually do that that was a perfect ball there so you just place it down and just walk it down to the cuticle without touching them as i said before i bet you guys are fed up in my mouth now but you're thinking god can't she give her mouth a rest <laughs> so I just shook it there and that makes it all back like neat, nice and neat but guys honestly don't worry about how many balls you use of acrylic I've been doing acrylics for years and I still use three or four balls it's just it's how you feel comfortable doing it it's if you're not comfortable doing a one ball technique then don't do it do it how you know you can get the results that you want that's what I say, follow what you know, the techniques you know. I mean, I, I pick up the techniques off of an hour text off YouTube and everything, but eventually it's always my own technique that I do the best nails with. It's because you're not used to new techniques. So if it works for you, carry on doing it. That's all I say. That is where I tried to get the bit of yellow on, but I don't know if it was just a reflection because I couldn't see in the finished article of these nails, so it might have just been me picking flies with them. <laughs> I just love the way the acrylic goes when you get it in a ball and you place that acrylic down on the nail and it bounces back up. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but I just, I love it. I've been watching a lot of that nailed it lately and 
I've been looking at some of the work they do and it, some of it is amazing. So I will be doing some competition style and catwalk style nails coming up in the future. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I've got a good few ideas in my head, but I will be practicing them before I show you all on camera just in case I don't do it as good as I plan in my head. Sometimes designs come out better than in my head and sometimes they come out totally and utterly rubbish. So as you can see, all four nails are now encapsulated. So next up we're going to go in with my e-foil and we're just going to take her down the bulk. There wasn't really bulky, there was smoothish, so there wasn't much really to e-foil off these. As you will see with the dust, there weren't much dust at all. So I'm just smoothing them out really. <coughs> Excuse me guys. And I do this on all four nails. I love how bright that pink is. Guys, sorry if you can hear children. It's outside. So I do apologise for that. But I mean, look how pink and how yellow they both are. The colours just go together so nicely. I was actually surprised how nice they did go together. I thought I'd do the last bit of summer nails before autumn hits us. I had to think then, guys, what it was. <laughs> before autumn hits us but I do love autumn, I love winter, I love Christmas, I love everything about it so I'm happy looking forward to the weather cooling down, it is cooler now here in the UK but we're meant to be getting the heat wave back but I want it to stay just as it is at the moment. So next guys I go in with my hand foil and I foil all four fingers. As you can see there, I did touch a bit of the skin with it, but as long as you spot it and foil it down, it should not matter really, it should be okay. So that's how it does work. It's so, alright guys, I didn't know if I was still recording then. I love stiletto nails lately, I don't know why. I've just gone completely mad at it. I'll start again. Completely and utterly mad on acrylic nails. I mean, not acrylic stiletto. Sorry, guys, where's my head at? <laughs> the fun part is in a minute, and I'll talk you through how I do this. I love making 3D flowers, roses out of acrylic powder. Out of acrylic, not acrylic powder. Out of acrylic and one Because I think it just... It gives it the personal touch. It's your design. No other flower will ever go back to that flower. No matter how many times you do it, you will never get the same flower twice, the same rose twice. So it is totally and utterly unique to you. So I'm nearly finished with my foiling now. So if you look, there isn't that much dust because there wasn't that much foiling. I did do quite a neat clean application which is what you want especially when you're working in the salon because it's get that client done next next so but I do like with more clients I like to give two hours now sometimes I'm done before two hours sometimes the client may need longer it all depends on what they haven't done so for like a design like this I would schedule three hours even though I'll probably do it in two and a half but it just gives you that little bit of time to play with just in case you do run over. So always think of the design that your client wants and base the design on how much time you give them because that will work for you then. That's just another little tip guys I've learnt over the years. I was really happy with how the next part come out it was so nice so I'm just getting the dust off though no I'm still going in with the foil it 
getting the dust off now off all four fingers then I'm going to go in with my finish off buffer I don't know what it's called so we'll just call it a finish off buffer <laughs> you just get used to having your own weird words for your tools don't you so just doing that on all four fingers As you can see guys with my new holder I can actually foil without hitting it. Now I'm just going in with some gel cleanser and wiping all the dust off all four nails. And next we're going to make a rose which is going to go on the full pink nail. And to make this rose I'm going to use a backing of some forms I have. I always keep the the odd bits that you've used the forms off because it comes in handy as you can see there. That one did cut off quite short because I didn't do a very good job so I'm going in again. You just want to pick up a tiny tiny bead and then you want to just flatten it out into like a line. And pat it out, use your brush all the time, your brush is your tool here. Make sure it's as neat as possible. And don't forget with acrylic you do have to work fast because it does set on you. But you don't have to work too fast as you need it quite, I'd say half a, a quarter of a way I'd say done. See as I'm waiting there. Then next I'll go with my brush. And I'll roll just roll the acrylic up this is going to be the beginning of your rose I'm just putting some clear acrylic on there to hold it in because otherwise it will not hold so as you can see I'm just rolling it literally sorry I'm out of view there again guys but I am just rolling it And then next you want to get that and you want to put it on the nail but I think here my acrylic had gone hard so I think I did go back in with some more acrylic yeah it had gone hard guys so I'll go back in with some more acrylic clear acrylic should I say As you can see I just sort of pinned the rose off, the rose, the beginning of the rose off. So I'll put that back on now. It does eventually go on. Yay, we have lift off. So that is the beginning of the rose. Next we're going to go in with some white and this is Nao Nails Mega White and we're going to create the petals to the rose. So to create the petals you want to do like a half moon shape. Now I had too much on there so I just took some off. So if you look I'm just doing like a half moon shape and you just want to pat that and pat it till you're happy with the shape yourself. And once you're happy with the shape then you want to get it and you want to stick it. You want to do it the side down it is on the paper, not the side you're playing with because the side down the paper, the way on the paper it is it will still be wet so it will actually still stick to your rose without you using anything. So, but I wasn't happy with that petal. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So I went in and done it again. So here we go again. As you can see, I'm patting it out. And then I'm pushing it into like a half moon shape. And then I'm going to go in with my brush, and I'm just going to pat it out like so. Sometimes you're happy with your petals, and sometimes you're in. If you're not happy with the petal, don't put it on. Just do another one. I mean, it's a quick job. I mean what I'd like to do with these is make loads up so you've got them ready for when a plant wants them. So if you just do like neutral colours then you're going to get it right but like the bold ones like this I would wait until a plant comes because you could end up with them forever. So but 
as you can see, I'm just going in there now and I'm just making sure it all sticks on. <coughs> next I'll go in with my beauty big oh, sorry guys, next I'll go in with my beauty big bang tweezers and I'll just try and make sure that the petals are sorted out on it a little bit. Your first bits never look that good anyhow because you build it up more as you go around. So I am using white and that sizzling yellow. So it incorporates the colours on the nails. So once you're happy with that, you go in and you make the next petal. doing exactly the same again doing the half moon And also while you're waiting for that one to set a little bit you can do your next one like I'm doing here and remember just do it in your half moon this I did learn from Nao Nails years ago how to do a 3d rose and I picked it up and I loved it I absolutely adored it I've done it with their Nao Nails and colour changing acrylic as well which I have got and I will be showing you guys that too like I said, I don't know if most of these products they still sell because it was many years ago, I'd say about three or four years. So it was a long time ago, but I will certainly check for you guys. And also, to buy off now nails, you don't have to be licensed, so that's another good thing. So I will put her link, the link to the website and her channel in the description box below for you guys. So as you can see the white and the yellow really pop together so I'm just putting the white petal on now and you sort of want to do it where you haven't done it like where the join to give it that more of a rose look I'm just pinching that down there to make it look more like a natural pretty rose I did learn that by mistake. One time I was making a 3D rose and the petal didn't go how I wanted and it went in. But I looked at it and I thought, oh, that looks ever so pretty. So I left it. So sometimes your mistakes do pay. <laughs> so doing it again, half moon, and then just flatten it out. Give it that nice, light, petally look. And I'm doing the white one as well while I wait for that one to set. I think it's so much fun playing with acrylic when you can do designs like this. It just it adds your unique personal touch to a set of nails that you've done, which I think is really good. So I'm just going to put that one on now. And then I'm going to put the white one on. I did have a bit of trouble getting this one to go on. So I do come in with my tweezers on this one. I love these tweezers from Beauty Big Bang guys. I would really recommend them. I mean they've helped me do this design too. And they're perfect for <clears throat> water decals as well. So I'll leave the link to where to buy and also my code which I will leave in the description box for you guys too. So I'm just pinching the flower there to try and get it to stick and just try and make it look a bit more natural flow. And it does work eventually. It does take a while because you have to keep touching it till it sets, well partly sets. So as you can see it gives it more of a 
edge it makes it look more like a real life rose because flowers are not perfect some flowers are not perfect they have different things in them so it just adds a bit more uniqueness to them and realistic they look a bit more realistic so just going in again guys here with the petal doing the same again half move I did try and tap this one off a bit too early as you can see so you can see what happens though if you do try and pick it up too early you just have to set it and wait for that time because otherwise it will mess up the whole design then so I'm going to pick that bead up now not bead sorry petal sorry Petals being a bit stubborn, but I got it off in the end, and there you go, the petal is now on. I'm very happy how my rose turned out, it looks very pretty. So, next up, I don't know, no, I don't think I'll do another petal here. But I do go in and put a chain around it. As you can see, I forgot to film that bit. So I'm just using some old cuticle nippers to cut the bit of chain off I don't want. And then I do go in and I'll just decapitulate it with some acrylic to make sure it doesn't come off. I don't put too much acrylic on, just a tiny bit just covering the chain to give it that extra bit of sturdiness I mean it's not going to come off this hand because it is a fake hand <laughs> So next off I'll try to go in with my normal e-foil bit but that didn't work so I got the carbon cuticle bit I think it was called when they first come out to actually go around the edges to help smooth them out a little bit more. And then after this I'm going with my Ink Lingo No White Top Gloss, Gel Top Gloss. I'm curing the lamp for 30 seconds and that is my design done guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't let anybody do your sparkle and I hope to see you in my next one. Thank you all for your support and I hope you continue to support me and help me grow. Thanks for watching guys. See you in my next video. Bye.